Welcome back, everyone. I hope you enjoyed our last podcast on meditation and relaxation. Once again, I am Brian Phillips. And I'm Jenna Vanis. For today's podcast, we'll be talking about body image and nutrition. Jenna, how are you doing today? I'm great, Brayden. How are you? I'm doing great. Great. Body image has always been a huge issue throughout all teens in high school. When not worrying about school, clubs, and family, we usually worry about ourselves and the way we look. I'm pretty sure we've all scrolled through Instagram or Snapchat and felt upset or jealous of the way people have looked. I found something online that said 80% of women don't like the way they look. I mean, that's a big number. It's not even girls. It also said 34% of men aren't happy with their bodies either. So pretty much you're telling me that people aren't too happy with the way they look and being in high school doesn't help either? While it is important to be happy with yourself and the way you see yourself, it's also important to keep a healthy lifestyle. For this podcast, we'll be talking with Nick Malone, a personal trainer, and Natalie, a nutritionist, to find a better way to live a better lifestyle. You're going to see a quick workout session and an easy and healthy snacks to make at any time. Someone Snapchat you. Jenna, are you taking a selfie? Uh, yeah, I'm sending my streaks. So we've been talking for 10 minutes and this has all gone through your head? Yeah. Like, social media is just as harmful as someone's body is positivity <laughs> than working out and eating junk food. Social media, I go on Instagram almost every single day. Well, every single day, and I'm fine. Well, I was doing some research and said that on Instagram, it is the most social network for self-esteem. Where did you even find that? The Royal Society for Public Health took a survey a couple years ago, and, and get this, seven out of the 10 people reported getting cyberbullied through social media. I guess I'll be deleting every social media app now. All I'm saying is that social media doesn't really do a good job of making people feel good about themselves. It shouldn't matter what people on social media think. As long as you're happy with the way you are, then that should be enough. And with these upcoming couple segments, there are too many people that can live a healthier lifestyle if they choose to. First, we're going to switch to Nick Malone, who's going to guide a, guide a group of students throughout a quick and easy workout. My name is Nicholas Malone. I'm from Crunch Fitness in Wayne, New Jersey, 1055 Hamburg Turnpike. Um, I'm going to show these group of high schoolers some quick, easy exercises they can do at home, you know, release some stress, you know, they got some tests coming up. Um, it's perfect for their body weights if they don't have any equipment at home. Um, we're going to start with some planks, which is very easy to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to do push-up planks. So we're going to get into a push-up position. And we're going to hold that for about a, 30 seconds to a minute. Next exercise is going to be squats. We're going to just do body weight squats. So you're going to hold your arms out in front of you. You're going to come like you're going to sit down like you're sitting in a chair. Make sure your toe, your knees don't go over your toes. And you're going to hold that position. You're going to come up, go back down, hold, and you're going to do that for 10 reps. So our next exercise is going to be jumping jacks. What we're going to start off with is our sh feet shoulder width apart bring the hands above the head. Uh, what this is really good for is doing your cardio. So it keeps your heart rate up, helps burn some calories throughout the day, um, helps relieve some stress as well. You're gonna be using a lot of endorphins here, which is gonna be bringing that hormone to your brain, helps you relieve some stress, makes you a little more happier. Um, now, you can also make this a little more challenging by bringing in a jump rope if you have it at home and try and do it for at least a minute or two. And if you can do that, try to do it for at least three rounds. So the next exercise we're going to be doing is push-ups. So as you can see, John right here is going to be doing push-ups. What he's going to be doing is keeping a plank position where his back is completely straight, chest is up, head is up. And what this is using is your triceps, your chest. It's also using your core as well because you're going to keep that position. All right, and then if you want to make this harder, you can go right into burpees. So what John's going to do is he's going to go into a burpee. So you're going to explode up and jump. Come down into a push-up, squat, jump up. Thank you, Nick, for that wonderful workout. My first question would be, do you think with this workout, teams will be more confident in their body? Uh, you're welcome for the workout. Uh, with this type of exercises, teams will be more confident in their bodies. You know, they're going to have, start to lose some weight, uh, build some muscle feel a little more confident walking around, you know, on the beach, uh, parties. Yeah. And other than these workouts, any other things can you do to stay healthy? Um, most important thing is diet. Uh, if they have a good diet, you know, along with working out, diet is key. You can have the best workout of your life, but if you're not having a good diet, you know, you're eating McDonald's or Burger King every day, you know, you're not going to make any progress. 
What makes this workout better than other workouts? So the good thing about these type of workouts is that you can do these at home. You don't need equipment or anything like that. Uh, these are really fun. You know, you can do this in between, you know, watching TV, doing commercial, like commercial breaks on TV, uh, between homework assignments. You know, they help relieve stress a lot. Um, you're going to be doing a lot of cardio. You know, it's going to be helping with the calisthenic movements, you know, keeping the joints loose. Why should people, including high school students, aim to exercise every day? Um, teens and everybody actually throughout the world should be exercising every day only because what this does is it helps you get your immune system going, it helps your body, your metabolism going, uh, it helps release some stress, you know, it helps cure a lot of different things like, you know, people with depression have come to me as a client of mine, you know, they have made significant benefits in their lives, you know, it just helps them make better choices with their lives as well, you know, not only just, you know, eating right and everything like that, but just daily activity. You know, they're just kind of going through, if they're going through something bad, they can help relieve the stress by just doing exercise. This is Mr. Karsich from the Physical Education Department here at Wayne Valley. Do you think body image is something teens struggle with in school and how could healthy lifestyle encourage body positivity? I absolutely think it's something that people struggle with, not everybody, but I think there's that percent of the population that deals with it. And as far as how a healthy lifestyle to do it, that's what we're trying to teach you. We're trying to promote, live healthy, be your best self. And, you know, I think we've done a pretty good job of letting everybody know they're their own individual. So be happy with who you are. Okay. What's the most important medical suggestion you could give to high school students regarding nutrition? Medical suggestion? Yes. I mean, I'm not a doctor. Let's be clear about that. But... I would say it's really all about balance. You hear so many different uh, ideas of what a good diet is. You know, have this, don't have that. But I think really at the end of the day, it comes down to uh, balance, balance, healthy lifestyle, and make sure you get your sneaky treats every once in a while. You're reporting. Thank you, Nick, for that easy and fun workout. Everyone seemed to enjoy it. With these simple and easy workout, I'm sure everyone is going to feel good about being themselves. Physical exercise is important, but eating healthy is just as important. Okay, but why would you eat an apple instead of a Hershey bar? Well, with Natalie's help, you'll see how you can make a healthy snack that's even better than a Hershey bar. I really doubt that, but we'll see. Let's see what Natalie will be cooking up. Now introducing our special guest, Natalie Gillette, a registered dietitian. I'm going to be asking her some questions about how to live a healthy lifestyle. What are some other healthy alternatives for foods that we love? So that's a great question. It really depends on what foods you love specifically. But I would say if you have a sweet tooth, sugar is a really big problem. Uh, a lot of kids are consuming way too much sugar these days. Um, so for example, a can of Coke is about 40 grams of sugar, which is way too much. So for something like that, I would recommend doing seltzer water and mixing it with mixing it with a little bit of juice. That way you get some sweetness and you're getting the bubbly flavor, but not all the sugar. If you like chocolate, which I love chocolate too, so uh, we don't want to eat too much of it. So I would recommend maybe doing a dark chocolate covered almond because you'll get some healthy benefits from something like the almond with a little bit of chocolate so you're not missing out. And for something like a salty snack, if you're into chips or pretzels, those are a little bit too high in fat or sorry, too high in salt. Um, so I would maybe go for popcorn instead, which has some fiber in it. In what ways would you recommend preventing eating disorders among teens and students? Also a really good question. I think it's so important too. Eating disorders are really common, especially in this age group. So I do think that social media has a lot to play with it as well. And my biggest recommendation would be to not always believe what you see or hear, especially on social media. Everyone is trying to sell a diet. They're trying to sell a product. And those things don't necessarily always work all the time. Um, they really don't care about your health they care more about making money. So you really do have to do some extra research and see if what these products and companies are claiming really do exist. Um, again, eating disorders are really hard, especially at an age where 
everything is all about your image and how you look. Um, and really, it's more about how you feel and being healthy. Um, your body comes first and living a healthy lifestyle to make your body healthier is your number one priority. And second to that will come looks, but looks should not always be the main thing when it comes to, to dieting or eating healthy. Does living a healthy lifestyle mean completely cutting junk food out of your diet? So that is a big no. You should never ever cut anything out of your diet. So doesn't mean you sh really don't have to give up your favorite foods. You don't have to give up pizza. You don't have to give up ice cream. It's really not about that. A healthy diet is actually about learning how to incorporate those foods into your diet and eating them in the right amount, right? So should you eat a pint of ice cream every night? Absolutely not. But could you have a scoop every night? Sure. So it's really about eating those foods in the right amount and not overdoing it. So again, a healthy diet is about learning how to incorporate those foods in a healthful way versus just eliminating entire food groups or entire foods from your diet. What are some examples of a healthy diet for teenagers to use? So I have to say, I hate the word diet. So diet really is telling you that you should be cutting something out or following something for a certain amount of time to lose some weight. It's really not what it's all about. It's more about living a healthy lifestyle. What you eat now should be something that you eat for the rest of your life. It's not temporary. It's not just to fit into your prom dress. It's not just for summer or for vacation. It's really about eating healthy for the rest of your life. So when it comes to dieting, don't diet. Just eat healthy. I think the most important thing to remember is eat your fruits and vegetables. When I see uh, a lot of students your age come to me, a lot of them are not eating enough fruits and vegetables. So aim for two to three fruits per day, five veggies per day, which is way more than most kids are doing. So really try incorporating some salads into your diet, maybe snacking on something like baby carrots and hummus during the day. Um, grape tomatoes, maybe adding some peppers and onions into an omelet. So really adding those food groups into your diet is really important. And of course, having some good protein in your diet and some whole grains like a whole wheat bread would be uh, my best recommendation. When you're tired and want to find energy, what is your go-to snack? So I love snacking and to give me energy, my favorite thing is a banana with peanut butter. So a banana gives you energy, it has carbs in it, so that's gonna give you your energy boost. And then the peanut butter has protein and fat, and that protein and fat actually help your energy last a long time so you don't crash. So anything with carb and protein is the key for an energizing snack, and peanut butter and banana is my all-time favorite. It's my favorite too. Actually. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. I know a lot of students will find this helpful, and I know I did too. Thank you for having me. It was a great experience. And also, if anyone has any nutrition-related questions, I am the registered dietitian over at the ShopRite in Wayne. So you can always come make an appointment if you want to want some counseling or just have a couple questions. And it's completely free. So come by, give me a call, and we'll set something up. Wow, those look really good. What do you think, Brayden? Better than a Hershey bar? Let's just say I wouldn't mind eating that instead of chocolate. I mean, I love those Hershey chocolate bars, but they're not the best thing to eat every day. Sure, they're really good, but I feel fat after eating one chocolate bar. I can't imagine eating more than that. What about guys? I mean, is this whole thing about eating and body image just a girl thing? Don't get me wrong, a chocolate bar is good every now and then, but I agree with you. Sometimes I feel bad after eating a lot of chocolate. So I guess body image is a problem for both guys and girls. As long as you're confident in your own body, that's all that matters. And if you're not too happy with your body, then we have these workouts and healthy snacks to try and be healthier. Thank you so much to everyone who tuned into the segment of Wayne Valley IRL. We hope that this podcast gave you some helpful information that anyone can use if they want to live a healthier lifestyle. Thank you, everyone. Goodbye. <laughs>